Hello. Um, so after completing watching Mark Bittman's TED Talk, um, I want to say that I really liked what he had to say. I was a little confused at first because my entire life, as I've grown up in school, I've always been taught to follow the USDA food pyramid. There was even like assemblies that they would pull the whole school down so they could teach us all about the food pyramid so we knew what we could eat. Obviously, I haven't always followed that pyramid, but because I was told that this is the way to be healthy and lose weight, I, I kind of used it as a safety net and I've always believed it. Like, so say, say this diet doesn't work for me and this diet doesn't work for me, then I could always fall back on the food pyramid. But Mark Bittman has showed me that that's not necessarily the case. And he's honestly made me think pretty hard now. Um, so looking back to what we've reviewed in class, the USDA plays a huge role in what is considered to be good and bad foods, like for our body. But after hearing how much pollution and basically animal abuse that we as a society has caused, I think he's on to something. I really do. Like, maybe this strict way of eating has been pushed to its limits and people are starting to see the error behind it and realize that the world is constantly evolving. Things change and sometimes what we once thought was true isn't any longer. I learned that maybe meat isn't as great for you as I've always thought or as I've always as what I was taught or what I grew up believing. Like, it's filled with protein, and I knew that was good for you, so I always assumed that it was a healthier choice, a healthier way to go, but apparently that's not true. Like I said before, I was a bit confused because he was going against what I have always been taught, but his explanation has me on the edge. I'm really not sure what to believe. I think I, I definitely would like to do a little bit more research on it because it's really it's a really interesting topic and I'm happy that someone is looking into it. Um this will impact my future dietary practice because I will no longer be assuming that meat should be a part of every meal as I've always done. Uh I've been looking for what I can do to be healthier and stronger and lose weight and this just might be it for me. Uh, I hope he's right, and I hope, America, that we can find ourselves again, because he might be right. Like, family dinners and home-cooked meals are so rare in today's society.